Hey you guys, it's your girl T and I want to go ahead and shout out Donald Williams. Donald wanted to know my opinion on the story that's coming out of our second favorite state, Trifling Ass Texas. So what happened in Texas is that there's this hip hop dance crew and it was a 22 year old man and a 29 year old dance instructor. Um, they went down to a hip hop competition down in Houston and they had this little white girl with them. Her name is Landry Thomas and she's 13. So they had stopped up at a gas station to go get some drinks and, and the police noticed her getting in the car with these guys they had assumed that this girl was being kidnapped by these two black guys. So it's causing a lot of controversy down in Texas. I'm going to go ahead and play you guys a news clip and I will come back with the rest of my Now to the latest on the Oklahoma girl who was cuffed and put in CPS custody while visiting Houston for dance workshops. Tonight, HPD is explaining why its officers took the girl to CPS, even though her mom knew where she was and who she was with. Sherman Chow has the story you'll see only on KHOU 11 News. Front and center, 13-year-old Landry Thompson, her dance instructor, 29-year-old Emmanuel Hurd, and her dance partner, 22-year-old Josiah Kelly. That, that is tight. Yeah. They traveled from Tulsa to Houston to work with hip-hop artists and tape a video. After a long day of rehearsals, Sunday at 3 a.m., they stopped at this gas station near Memorial Park. That's when Houston police pulled them all out, handcuffed them, and put them into patrol cars. And they were also convinced that I was like a runaway. Police then called Landry's parents in Oklahoma, who were surprised by the officer's tone. Are you aware your daughter's with two black men? And when I said, yes, I'm aware of that, he started calling into question our parenting. Landry is homeschooled and travels frequently for dance. The Thompsons asked Emmanuel to look after their daughter and packed a raft of documents. Emmanuel had a letter signed by us, um, had every contact number that they could possibly have needed. He had her insurance card. He had her original birth certificate, not a copy. The Houston police officers did not believe the parents or the men. I'm like, sir, I would dance for you right now. Do I need to like... In a statement, HPD said, quote, given the age discrepancies and the child had no relatives in the area, officers in an abundance of caution did their utmost to ensure her safety and sent her to CPS. Do you think it would have been different if she had been black or if you had been white? Yes, absolutely. 100% absolutely. Landry's friends waited for six hours outside of CPS waiting for her to be released. Everyone involved says they understand why police questioned the group at first, believe it should not have taken so long to clear everything up. Sherman, Charles, Okay, so you guys just watch the news clip, and a lot of folks are screaming racism, a lot of folks are screaming foul, and I do feel like they were probably pulled over because they were with the little white girl, whereas if they were with the little black girl, they probably wouldn't have batted an eyelash. But one thing I will say is that I would rather have the police be more cautious about a situation than not cautious. Because had this girl really been kidnapped, had she really been, you know, in some prostitution ring, then folks would be faulting the police. So I do respect them for trying to get down to the bottom of it, but it should not have taken six hours for them to get down to the bottom of the situation. Once they spoke to the parents, once they saw the birth certificate, the notarized letter, that should have been more than enough evidence to prove that the girl had permission to travel with these guys. You know, and a lot of folks are saying that the parents are stupid. Why would they let the, you know, let her go with the 29-year-old dance instructor? Why aren't the parents going with? A lot of people do that. You know, a lot of people will leave, you know, their kids in the trust of other adults. All adults are predators. All men are not pedophiles. But obviously, these parents trusted both of these gentlemen to take care of their daughter. Obviously, they know these men well enough to allow their daughter to leave the state with them. So I don't see how people can fault the parents. There are some adults that you just trust like that around your kids, point blank, period. You know, but I just think that while I agree with the police, you know, erring on the side of caution, I don't agree with how long it took. And I do feel like it was some type of racial profile because a little girl was white. But again, had the police not done anything and it really ended up being a case where she was being trafficked, then folks would be bitching and whining about that. So sometimes you can't win for lose, you know. So like I said, I do respect the fact that they did care enough to try and figure out what was going on. But it definitely should not have taken six hours for them to get to the bottom of everything. So anyways, go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on the entire situation. Do you feel like the police were wrong, that they were being overzealous? Or do you feel like the parents are wrong for allowing their daughter to go with these two guys? Or do you feel like this was a form of racial profiling? Let me know your thoughts. All right, deuces.